guys, welcome to my channel. I'm thrilled to dive into the mystical realms and share a timeless message specifically crafted for the intuitive souls of Pisces. Pisces, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It would totally mean the world to me. Please remember, the energies of this reading transcends time, and you've stumbled upon it exactly when the universe has intended. As we embark on this journey, keep in mind that the message is pre-recorded, yet its resonance is attuned to the present moment. Let your intuition be your guide. Pisces, if you've been here on my channel, I totally appreciate you guys for being a part of my journey and continuing to donate towards my channel energetically by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and also continuing to watch these videos. Let's unlock the secrets that the cards holds for you. All right, let's get into this reading. All right, first things first, we have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and a friendship. Let's see what else we got. We have passion, and we also have paradise, all right? So passion is insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. And then we have paradise here, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. So right off the bat, I feel like this is someone who either you've just met or someone you're about to meet. It's like a chance meeting, like you running into someone. But everything is going to work out exactly as the universe has intended because passion in there it seems like this relationship or this situation ship is going to go a whole lot further than even you expect okay so we also have the hunter here aggressor tracker provider hmm so a hunter gives me a uh, cause for alarm because that's like stalking your prey that means you have two energies here one that seems like it could turn out to be a new situation, new relationship. But then there's also something old here that is looking like somebody could potentially not be fully all the way released or somebody wanting to hold on to your energy. Um, we have the fairy ring here, new skills, advanced training and rapid improvement. Is giving me there's somebody here that is recovering from a past situation because hunter here and that's giving me a little bit of alarm only because it's giving me the vibe like stalkerish um also abusive maybe like you having to run away from somebody so that could be like the runner in a codependent relationship. Somebody is needing your energy, needing your time. But this person would also be acting as if you are blessed to be in their presence. But meanwhile, it's basically, it's not a good situation to be in. Because it's almost like a person trying to beat you down but knowing that they need you. So prayerfully, nobody's in an abusive relationship, but if you are, please seek guidance and help. Then we have new skills, advanced training, rapid improvements. That's growth, a change in the energy. So that could be someone else different, or this could be the same person that is now trying to heal from a toxic situation or an abusive situation. We have nonsense here. It's time to talk sense. And again, if it's relating to whoever the first person is, it's basically like you're fed up. You're done with that. We have a change of scenery happening here with the lady in the boss egg, Bosch egg. Ancient wisdom. That's like past or ancestral. I feel like somebody here is fed up with a situation. It could be person, place, or thing. And they want something different. You're wanting something different, Pisces. Let's see what else we have here. 
Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, and enjoy the dance. And then we have the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. So again, like I said, it's like a healing vibe. Someone here is trying to recover or in recovery. Um, recovery from person, place, or thing. So I hear addictions, um, maybe drug addiction, maybe alcohol addiction. But somebody has a strong codependent aspect here. Um, trying to hold on to a situation that is... You're, you've already grown past. We have maybe somebody may be questioning if they should give this person a second chance or give this situation a second chance. The answer is no. You can do what you want because you have free will, but it's almost like your guides are saying, be done with that. That situation is over. There's something new brewing on the horizon, and I'm saying brewing because it's almost like if you like coffee or tea, depending upon um, where you go to get that, could potentially be the place where you meet this person, because I feel like it's a chance meeting. Um, you guys just being at the same place at the same time. All right, let's see what we get here. So we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, which would also, you know, be in alignment with the hunter, aggressor, tracker, somebody that is trying to force you into a situation. Again, that seems very toxic or abusive. And not really all that much of a happy situation to try to you know be involved with or be in alignment with that seems totally out of alignment unequally yoked is the, also the word that i'm hearing so maybe you were married to this person um we have a father here because we have providers so this could potentially be your father or somebody that thinks they your daddy or acts like they're your dad instead of your okay somebody that's acting like they your daddy and not your spouse okay um Definitely not a good situation to be in. So we have the official person, which could be any male energy, or this could be you, because if you are a male energy, you may be acting like this towards somebody, and that could be the reason why this person is not trying to give to you or not wanting to be in a situation or relationship with you. You could be coming off as, you know, a person who is a little overly aggressive, um, we have a change and a transformation happening here because the card that I was just putting over there was a butterfly card, a relationship ending, um, a new phase is happening. And it's also about healing the inner child and growth in which I said personal growth, but this could relate to childhood trauma. And I don't like using that. I'm not nobody's therapist, but you know, a lot of people are talking about they have childhood trauma. So this could also be something that is transcending or transferred from your childhood over into your adulthood or you to your children so i could also potentially say uh sins of the mother and father but i do feel like there's somebody here that's healing from that and there's a relationship that's brewing on the horizon that is healthy a healthier situation for you to be in all right, let's get some tarot on this. I don't know why, but my thumb just started to hurt. Like, there's something happening here. So your thumb is that, that's fire energy. And it, we got passion here, so. Or maybe that's because this, I just did this. That could be hitchhiking or somebody saying something is okay. So. Because I don't know why that's starting to be a thing right in here. My finger feels like it hurts. All right, so let's see what we got here on the tarot. All right, somebody has officially moved away or is leaving a situation. We got the Six of Swords here. This is also about being careful what you take when you leave, when you go, when you leave away from your problems. Like, everybody's not the same. So mentally, physically, spiritually, what are you taking with you when you leave whatever toxic situation you have been connected to, tied to, or what situations, what toxic energy have you brought with you from your childhood into the your adult phase of life? 
or what are you giving to your children? That could be another thing. So we got the hangman here, a pause, a surrender. Stopping to think, um, clearing your mind, clearing your head. Um, also isolation, you being by yourself, having to think, or it's like being illuminated. Um, something coming, you, you come into an understanding of something. We have your money is a factor right now in your life. And it seems like everything is either starting to blossom or has blossomed and things have changed or starting to change because there's abundance here. There's a 10 of pentacles here and also a nine of pentacles. So maybe your money has regressed a little bit because it went from 10 to one. So somebody here maybe lost a pentacle or something pertaining to, you know, a situation that maybe you kind of either didn't consider or didn't want to consider, but either way you may have lost a little bit of funds pertaining to this. But then there's also abundance, blessings, and growth pertaining to you've went through every level. So the, the 10 is a completion and it also shows that you've been up, you've been down side to side, um, but now you have an understanding, a greater understanding of how money is, how money works and how money flows. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, yeah, so somebody may be taking a financial hit because of an investment or invested in a situation. Because now we went from 10 to 9 to 7. So somebody may have lost money on an investment or lost money because of a situation that you were in and you had to abandon it. So again, more walking away. It's like the beginning and the end are almost the same. So maybe you collaborated with a person and it didn't turn out to be the best of situations or circumstances, but either way, there's growth here. Um, also, it could be a situation where there was healing that needed to be done and uh, it didn't go the way that it was supposed to have. Like maybe you jumped into a situation before you were fully ready. And so it kind of like put you in a bad position. It, it, Cause somebody totally lost money here, all right? But, 10 and 9, a person used to living in luxury and now all of a sudden you're waiting for seeds that you have planted or waiting for investments that you have planted. So we have that. All right, and let's see what else we have. All right, so maybe you had to move and now we went to a 4. Um, this is holding on too tight to something could potentially cause a problem. Um, so maybe that's where you needed to go. You needed to leave or needed to move forward, move on in a situation or from a situation. But I feel like somebody is moving from one place to the next. So a state, uh, a state of mind. But I feel like this is like from one city or one state, maybe even another country um, to somewhere different. All right, let's see what we have. All right, so something that created an ending, a tower. We have wish fulfillment, so there was a change. And this is like also be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. So a ten of swords here, which is another completion. Um, a knight of pentacles. We have lots of tens here. So that's ten, ten, and ten. That also shows, like I said, personal growth and... A, a total different change in your energy so the end of that is a five of cups so it's like bereavement like so crying over spilled milk but also it's okay to feel the feelings that you feel but don't let it linger too long so whatever tower you just recently went through or are going through at this point in time there is a change in your energy and it was like life lessons and um that had to be um navigated through or lessons that you had to learn that would uh, kind of allow for growth. Um, so let's see what else we have here. All right, you, you may be tired, but you can continue. We have the lover's card because it's like pushing through. So you learn the lessons um, and now also loving yourself, not putting others before you, but knowing how to express love and give love. Um, there may have been a situation where a family friend or a loved one kind of stabbed you in the back or, you know, may have been talking about you along the way. Either way, 
there's growth and change here. So there's a person around that seems like they're here to help you or they've been helping you. Um, a connection that was made. Something that is in alignment with your uh, emotional stability and also your life purpose. But I get the fact that this uh, Three of Swords is here is showing like... On one hand, it was like whatever was designed to hurt you is the thing that actually healed you. And so that offered a, a blessed change in your life. We have Knight of Swords, Justice, the Devil here. We have Four of Wands and Stand in Your Guard, Stand in Your Ground. So totally something definitely was life-changing, but also things coming into balance. So movement started to happen because I feel like things may have been a little bit stagnant on, you know, in a, in a couple areas here and there. I think the only 10 that I didn't see was the 10 of cups. So it's almost like family alignment. You may be still searching for your soul tribe or they are still searching for you. But either way, being released or tied to toxic situations, it was something that was um, one of your lessons for this lifetime, maybe. We have four of wands, which is showing that there's about to be some type of connections or some celebrations that are um, you're overdue for honestly, because then we have stand your guard, stand your ground, um, seven of wands energy. So not backing down from your beliefs, your belief system, everything that you have learned over the past few years. And for some reason, I'm getting like five years for some, I hear three years for others. I hear seven years for some other people. Um, everything that you have learned has now got you to, you know, this moment in time. And let's see what is about to happen because, let's see. Let's see where we about to go with this. This energy. All right, so we got King of Pentacles. We have Ace of Cups. We have Seven of Cups. We have Five of Swords. We have the Hierophant here. And we have a Queen of Wands energy. Um, I keep hearing somebody say there's the best of both worlds. And also being mindful that uh, the fight within. Because somebody wanting to win at all costs, there's an energy that could potentially be around that is trying to force you into some type of um alignment religious alignment or some type of uh somebody may want you to kind of think the way they think or somebody trying to push an agenda and that keeps being a thing people trying to push their agenda maybe in your direction but it's like you standing firm so maybe also you having a choice okay so let me go back so King of Pentacles, abundance, blessings, basically your money changing. So everything that you went through and you ended up being on a decline. So if you lost any money, everything is being put back um, tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, ace of cups, um, feelings, emotions, new opportunities, new connections. Okay. So again, divine offering you, you have choices out here, but it's also showing that I think you need to focus is what I would get from this because it's almost like maybe you looking back from, you know, into situations and maybe questioning if you made the right decision. And I feel like there's something new that is catching your attention, but maybe you might be questioning it. And only because, and this thing actually is pertaining to money too. So just so you know, this is the reason why I'm saying it. There's a page of pentacles here. So something new that could potentially catch your eye. Um, and maybe you're wondering because there was, it looks like there was investments that you had made before that kind of either didn't bloom the way you wanted them to, or they came in kind of slow. So that may be, you know, giving you a little pause as far as where you're, you know, kind of questioning yourself a little bit. Um, then we have the Hierophant here, but then there's still a whole nother situation that we started with that is kind of lingering in the background or lingering on the sidelines because it's saying keep an open mind. 
Your soul may make your soul might make different from your usual type and expectations. So there's an energy that's hovering. But I feel like it's being overshadowed by the energy that is. Because we have somebody totally in their thoughts about a situation. Somebody's totally overthinking a situation. And it has trust and faith. Trust and faith here. Um, faith of a mustard seed is all you need. Whatever the past thing was, because unrequited love, that's basically like you feeling some type of way about somebody that don't feel the same way about you or vice versa. And then there was some type of abusive situation because aggressor, hunter, tracker, a provider, somebody that was providing for you, but somebody that felt like they should be in control or in charge of your directions, your decisions, your life, you have free will. So that seems to be a little bit like, there's a little push and pull here. So I'm going to just say that this is the end of the reading. Um, hopefully it helps, but you have somebody totally in their head or you being totally in your head. Because like I said, it seems like somebody's overthinking the situation. And it's almost causing you to kind of not pay attention to something else that is kind of sticking its head out. Like a little bit. Pay attention to me, please. Keep an open mind. So, Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming towards my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.